Hi friends, welcome back to the Pragmatic Lopa. This video is for all those who love beaches. Of course, by now, as you all know, they are my favorite. So this year, I decided to have a beach theme Diwali decor. In today's video, that is part two, we'll see how to make the rest of three DIYs of my beach theme Diwali decor out of total seven of them. So you can see the first four in the part one of the same. If you wish to see them, which I strongly recommend, check out the link of part one provided in the description box below. After watching this, of course, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe for more such creativity. So without further ado, let's get started. For the first candle stand, I got some assorted seashells and a tall cylindrical candle and of course hot glue gun. You can apply E6000 or any other stronger glue for stronger bond but after a while I would like to reuse the shells and candle for some other decor idea. So use hot glue so later on it can be easily removed. First protect the surface you are working on. I wanted to use these small ones for the upper rim so collected all of them. Apply hot glue along the border which will be in contact with the candle and fix it. Similarly place all other shells along the rim. Make sure they are all almost at the same level. So here how. The upper rim looks once all are placed. Before fixing with glue, you can arrange the shells in the order you wish. Once you are happy with the gradation, apply glue and fix them one by one. You can apply extra glue at the edges considering the candle glass being curved, the shells edges might not completely be in contact so just to fill them for better bond now keep covering the candle in layers of shells along with filling the smaller gaps in the similar way using smaller shells according to the size of gap you have to use different shapes and sizes of shells once you have placed all the shells in place this is how it will look. This is optional but if you wish you can add a base to the stand by placing any circular candle holder filled with decorative sand or you can even use the real beach sand. Create a depression at the center to place the stand. Now you can add few extra shells on it and your beachy candle stand is set to lit up your home. For this cascading shell fountain, I took these two candle holders and some assorted seashells and if you want you can give an additional lighting effect with string lights, any candle of your choice and hot glue gun. Now align the candle holders the way you want it to be. And once you are happy with it, and yeah, make sure you protect the surface you are working on before fixing them using hot glue. Now in this way, you can insert the lights from behind. And just to secure it further, I applied strips of scotch tape. After placing the candle, I further decorated it with small shells all round at the lower rim. Now fill in the gaps with different shapes of shells in a cascading fashion. Once you switch on the lights, you can see the amazing glow effect it creates. 
For this water bowl, you will need sand, either decorative or can get real ones as well. One glass bowl, assorted seashells and glitters of your choice. Add glitters into sand and mix it well using a spoon. Now carefully pour the sand into the bowl using the back of the spoon. Try to spread the sand unevenly. Now start setting different types and shapes of shells in the pattern you wish. Fill the bowl with water. Here if you like, you can add few drops of your favorite fragrance oil to further improve the Indians. See how sparkly it looks. Now either use a floating candle or you can even use a submersible tea light. At this point, if you're not happy with the look, you can still make changes using back of the spoon. I use some more shells to cover the tea light and fill with water and enjoy this underwater glow lamp. If you love this project, I would love that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are not already and if you wanna hit that bell notification button, feel free to do that as well to stay notified when I upload. I would love to hear your feedback. Did you enjoy this video? Let me know because obviously I wanna take your opinions into consideration so I'll be able to make it better. Thanks a lot guys for stopping by. See you in my next video. Till then, take care. See you soon. Enjoy.